the Dallas artist behind a mural that dedicated to the six men who lost their lives on the Key Bridge. He's now here putting the final coating on that project. During a candlelight vigil tonight just outside of Fort Armistead Park, people came to pray for the three who remain missing in the wreckage of the collapse and their families. WJC is live on Fort Smallwood Road. Christina Mendez spoke with the painter who travels around the world to memorialize loved ones lost to tragedy. Christina. Vic, the painter I spoke with says that he is ready to add this final layer of protection over that mural after being here in Baltimore for about the past two weeks or so. But he tells me what makes this mural here behind me so special is the personal touch of some of the victims' families. Whatever there is, like an event where I have a feeling that I can do something good, I go. The mural memorializing the six men who died working on the Francis Scott Key Bridge at the time of the collapse is complete. This is something that I can contribute, and I will keep on doing it. And my pay, my pay, is not that money right now. It's when they come. Dallas artist Roberto Marquez travels around the world to honor lives lost. Nearly two weeks ago, he found himself in front of another blank canvas, this time in Baltimore. Maybe a layer or two to protect it, and then it'll be ready. This memorial, he says, was a collaboration with the community, adding crosses and personal items belonging to the victims. Alejandro Hernandez Fuentes, Dorleon Castillo Cabrera, Miguel Luna, Minor Suazo Sandoval, Jose Lopez, and Carlos Hernandez. Marquez says the Luna family left their mark on this panel. This is very special right here. There is like messages, there's signatures, but here's more like they contribute. During one of the artists' final nights in town. We're just here to support the last ones, you know. These hardworking men. A vigil was held to pray for the men who remain missing in the collapsed site. Three have been recovered, but three others have yet to be reunited with their families. The family waiting for this fight. Gilda Lopez says she is a family friend of the Suazo Sandoval family. The worker most recently recovered from the Patapsco River and hopes soon other loved ones will be able to find closure. The family is so very broke hard. Until I'm be here, I'm giving support. Marquez says that whether this memorial ends up being moved in the future, he just hopes wherever it ends up, it serves as a reminder to continue honoring the lives of the six men that we all lost. And reporting live tonight at 11, I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ.